Let me just wipe the camera, Steve. Right, guys, this is Stephen. Yes, hello. And do you wonder, when you see something like this, yeah. a McAllister screwdriver from Screwfix, around, I think it's around 20 quid including VAT, is it worth it? Is it, Steve? Well, you can do some in-depth testing of exactly what torque there is that applies to any of the, the settings on here. Mm -hmm. Right the way through from the first. Let's have a look. Right guys, Steve asked me if I'd like to review this new purchase Steve made, which was, how much was it, 16 plus VAT? You're around that, yeah. And it's a McAllister... Rechargeable. Uh, rechargeable. It's a cordless screwdriver, I think. Cordless screwdriver, yeah. So and there we go, it's awesome. We're going to say it's good because it's got... Torch. Oh, torch. You can change the, uh, the setup so it's uh, kind of... A and it looks like a dildo, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So you can have dildo or gun, <laughs> and you can have setting through from one through to uh, through to max. Yeah. Uh, as well as having a little little light to help you with the. Uh... Where's the light? Hang on, it's, you're hiding it with your finger. There it is. Oh, so hang anyway, on. hang on, man. We, we're going to say yeah. That 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 sounds really good. Mr. Tommy has arrived. Mr. Tommy's back legs not working very well. He's in good spirits, but he seems to be dragging himself around a bit. He loves a bit of a fuss. Steve, yeah? have we finished our review? Yeah, the review is, I think it's good. Okay, mate. There you go. Rock on. Anyone thinking about buying a cordless screwdriver, consider Steve's McAllister jobby. And, uh, there we have it. I am busy restoring some uh, old Aston Martin carburetors. Let me show you. Oh, I can't show you because they're in the ultrasonic cleaner. Well, these are the intake manifolds. And these are all the bits I pulled out, seized bits. And uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of this going on. And I haven't done anything on Kate yet. Have a little snooze, dude. And uh, here we've got our little Austin Healy Frog Eye Sprite, which spent 12 hours doing the differential on it because I broke it a few weeks ago. And Tony and I spent 12 hours and about 500 quid shortening prop shafts, half shafts, and putting a heavier LSD in. And unfortunately, when we tested it, it winds and grinds. So we bought a second hand one in good faith, but it's no good. And that was a bit of a bummer, really. Tony and I were seriously deflated. So what we've decided to do is to paint it. Uh, to paint it uh, some colour. And I'm starting to take the lights off. We're taking all the aluminium strips off the, the trim. And like things like this, for example. We've had to uh, work on these because these were a bit sharp. And these are like the vents on it, which were on primer and we've just bead blasted these that's the big bulging thing for the uh, carburetor so yeah we're going to be painting the frog eye tranny is waiting for <clears throat> logbook and i've got the tires there so we're going to be putting some tires on that soon and waiting for the logbook to come so we can put some number plates on it and insure and tax it etc We just had some chicken, didn't we? Right. Thanks for your review, Steve. Anytime. In-depth reviews like that, my speciality. Yeah, let us know, people, what you think. Do you want us to do a few more reviews? Because uh, Steve thinks uh, that people might appreciate a bit of a heads up on things. How's it going, dude? All right, same now. I think I'm filming, yeah. <laughs> Are you well? Yeah, fine. I'll Thanks for bringing the, the most... Okay, so from 1941. 41 Ford, yeah. Whoa, nice. I, I saw it the other night, but I couldn't appreciate the colour of it. It's a bit battered. It's been built 20 years, I think. How long, how long have you known of the car? Uh, I think when Paul first built it, probably 20 years ago, something like that. Mm. 
Uh, and you're looking, you're maintaining it for him? Yeah, he's broke his back, so he do what he used to do, because he was a lorry mechanic. Yeah. So he's can't look after it too much yourself now. Uh, he's driving in walking, but he isn't so agile, so... So you're doing the bending yeah, over yeah, underneath the yeah, car? I'm and doing all the awkward jobs, yeah. He wow. just wants to drive it. Can you open the bonnet for us, Wack? Yep. Thanks, man. Small block shape, basically it's Camaro running gear yeah. underneath the truck, so what you do is you basically put a front end suspension in off a of Camaro, uh, then engine gearbox, back axle, so it drives more like a you know, sort of mid 80s American muscle car, but Hang on. with the look of a 40s Wack. truck. Are you camera shy? No. Because when I point the camera at you, you move out of the way, man. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, let me just, just have a look at this. The way I look, so hang on, okay. hang on. Mate, I should have look, had a shave. Look at me, yeah, man. Yeah, I look like no, a freaking like hedgehog twins. stuck on my face. <laughs> yeah, we look like a pair of twins. Right, hang but, on. Uh, okay, so, mate, what I, I, what I don't understand is you say this has got a Chevy motor in it, right? Yeah. But it's a Ford. Yeah. Is that, is that that's, so that, obviously that's not original, No, no, no. Now the original would have been a little, uh, either a foot in, in line four or in line six. Or ah. Gotcha. Yeah. A professional camera. Not professional, but it's, it's a bit better quality. You're going to look a lot so handsomer. So I, I look pretty on this yeah. one now. <laughs> pretty awful. Yeah. No, no. Mate, listen. You're a freaking car nut like me. You've been doing this since before I was freaking... Born, yeah. But when did you start mucking around with cars? Uh, motorbikes probably first when I was about 13. When was so. that? What year? Uh, 83? Yeah, I was three then, dude. Yeah, that's it. Huh? So, yeah, I've been building been spannering push a long I've, time. I've man. been building push bikes since I was about nine, I suppose, because dad hadn't got a clue. Let's so, have I had look to at your hands, dude. They're quite clean at the moment. That's good for <laughs> me at the moment. Spannering. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, you said this is uh, just, is it over five litres, is it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, five seven, five point oh. seven litres. Normal 350 Chev yeah. combination. Yeah, you know, this one was designed to be. He'd already had like the semi-big horsepower car, so he, he wanted something a usable truck that he could drive and do loads yeah. of shows with and things. Yeah. And, but then he changed businesses and he he ran his business. He was getting his business up and going because he stopped mechanic in and now makes beers. He makes beers. He makes beers. What for home? Like uh, no, hobby. he's got a he's got a pub in Everton. Uh, oh, gotcha, man. Yeah. So he he's, uh, does his own brewing. What Wacky pointed out is that 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 fuel tank filler is in the wrong place because if they've got a load on it and it does like what ten to the gallon or something. Uh, no, probably just fifteen, eighteen, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So that that's not in the best location, is it? Right? <laughs> no, you've got to all your camping gear. Empty everything out room. just to. Um, yeah. Or your mate's very drunk in the back and decides he needs the toilet and yeah. thinks that's the... Uh, he uses the... Uh, yeah, that, that could get a bit... Uh, yeah. Nice, very nice and tidy, man. Is that original of the car, is it? This stuff here? Uh, yeah, that's all the original. That's original, yeah. yeah. Wow. He's put some blower vents in and things, because originally the air would have come up through these little tiny slots here, so yeah. he's just got little blowers coming in there. Mm. The cab's that small, you put a heater in it, it's like cooking you within about seven minutes, you're mm -hmm. you well done. So. Look at that massive thing there, man. The stepper thing. Yeah. Tell you what, man, for a, for a, what, what, how, long, how old is that then? This is like, how many years is it? It's about 80, 80 year old 80 car. Years old, yeah. 80 years Good old, nick, yeah. man. Any idea where this came from in the States? Uh, no, I don't know where Paul got this one no. from. So. Man, that front is super cool, man. Can we hear it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. How much fuel's in? Not Shall I shut one. the bonnet? Yes. Yeah. Bit of a slam. A bit of a slam. Sure. More of a slam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. That was a bit That's of a... right. That was a wimpy slam. <laughs> Technical problem? No keys. <coughs> Wacky's, um, Wacky's, how long have you had the car? About four weeks now? Yeah, three or four weeks. Yeah, done a wiring loom on it, you've done... Uh, redone it. it was standing problems, so the brakes were all stuck on. Yeah. 
gearbox fluid all trying out the gearbox. Wow. Uh, you know, the exhaust head. headers as well, you yeah, told me yeah, the exhaust headers. Yeah, the exhaust have been heated and broke up, it's got off the manning pole, so I had to take the past manning pole off and relay it to the new one. Man, that sounds on the money. Yeah, 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 and the oil pressure's nice and good as well, it's got like 70 pounds of oil pressure. Yeah, uh, 70 pounds of oil pressure. Yeah. The fuel pump's actually louder than the engine. <laughs> <laughs> the fuel pump under the back. What pump is it? Uh, so I avoid it. Poly blue, or something. A poly blue. It's really solid main, feeding should be main to jump up. Ah, yeah. Is that the battery there? Yeah, the battery. Yeah. See you again. See you later, dude. Okay. Thanks for bringing it over. There you have it guys, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a lovely weekend wherever you are. From me and Mr. Tommy. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>